All right, guys. So Wayne and I are down here in the kind of tourist area. Um, Duval. So, so, Duval. Duval. Yeah, Duval. Here's Wayne back here. Hi, Wayne. Hey, guys. And we are going to go check out Hemingway's house. He pointed it out when we were going by on the scooters, and I'm like, I got to see that. So we had to go find some parking. Let me turn the phone around for you. You know, you, you see all the, the scooter parking. <laughs> Most of these are rentals. Most of them are rentals. Well, guys, both Wayne and I are kind of cheapskates and a little bit poor, so we're not going to go in there. But uh, I showed you a little footage down there by the door, and you know, don't pick up the cats, right? And plus, Wavy's not invited, so um, maybe we'll walk around and just see what we can see around the outside of it. I love this brick wall. I want this around my house, <laughs> except twice as tall. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm -hmm. Are you one of the kitties that we can't pick up when we go in? Oh, I see. You're spoiled. There's another one right there. Another one there. <laughs> like Let's 30. see some of these kitties here. There's like 30 cats in this damn place. Down at the wharf here, down at the end of uh, where uh, Spago's has their boats and all the sunset stuff, and Dante's is over here. This is Jimmy Buffett's studio, which last year when I met Jimmy, I, I oh Jimmy, yeah, like I know him. <laughs> uh, when I met Mr. Buffett, we talked about that he still owns this. He's had it since the 70s. It's his original studio. Still records music in there and stuff. And my daughter's got her sticker on here, Danny Ray Let's Lee, go take a look. Whatever. Can't find it. Yeah, I've looked. I can't find let's it. Let's go. Let's go see if we can. You, can. you know, you can see some of the yachts out here. Yeah, it, yeah, Danny's. I'm not sure where her stick. There's so many stickers. Everybody told her stickers. Man, look at this! Holy cow! You were looking for it? Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to find it. It's, it's so plastered in amongst all this stuff. That big yacht out there has been there. Was there last year? But there's some major yachts in here. And this is just the high end portion, in my opinion, of down where Key West is, where all the commercial boats are coming and going. Um, the boathouse. I think it's a boathouse with boat yards down here. That's a very popular place for all the locals to go. Happy hour seems to be the key on all of these places. Otherwise, you're going to really get killed on the prices and stuff. But, uh, How much should we just pay for a beer? $8 a beer, which Chimney I crackers. was kind of floored by that. I didn't think like at noon or 1 o'clock. But then we looked at the you know, the happy hour chart and from 4 to 6, and it drops down to $3 a beer and $3 an appetizer. Yeah. So that's more affordable. Um, but anyway... Yeah, this is a really uh, uh, cool place. Um, I, I can't, you know, I mean, I can't tell enough. Last year in here, we, we got to see some tarpon, a couple of big nerf sharks, like a big eight-foot nerf shark. I got it on the on video I put it up on one of my channels, or one of my videos last year. Um, other than that, that's about all I kind of know about this place down here. This just seems to be the high-end place for commercial traffic and, and uh, you know, your, your charter boats, your fishing boats, all that stuff.
So Wayne and I spending our second day kind of walking around Key West, just looking at stuff. We're taking kind of the back streets today, and I think even a couple streets that maybe Wayne hasn't even been on, which is pretty yeah. hard to do. You've been here so many times, right? Yeah, there's a couple of trees like this in Key West, and they're called banyan trees, and they're extremely old. They start from one tree, and they just continue to kind of blossom and get more and more, and all snarly and and that. And that's about the most I know about the banyan trees, but they're pretty darn cool. Yeah. You see them all over Florida, but they're really, really big in, in Key West. Some of the real old ones. Hey guys, so hopefully you can hear me. Uh, we're just a couple miles from where Wayne and I have been camping on the beach, uh, a couple of keys up from Key West. I'm just waiting for Wayne to catch up with me. The traffic's really bad this, uh, towards the end of the day. I kind of, we kind of got separated and since I can go faster, I was kind of blasted up here and I'm waiting for him. But I, before we leave tomorrow, I wanted to kind of show you guys, you know, how to get in there and stuff like that. So this is what this little segment's gonna be about. So stay tuned. Wayne, tell, tell the cookie story to folks real quick. Yeah, we were down by the wharf there, down by uh, where uh, Jimmy Buffett's studio is there. And, uh, there's all the catamarans that do the sunset cruises and stuff, so there's Sabago there, Marquesas, um, um, you know, there, there's a whole, Fury, there's a whole bunch of them. But anyway, I think Marquesas is the one we, uh, <laughs> um, everybody was coming off there at the end of the night and they were giving away cookies. They, must, they had a big tray of them. So me and Brenton were like, uh, Brenton goes, I, I want a cookie because Brenton's a fiend for cookies. <laughs> I said, well, shit, let's go get a cookie. And what we'll do is we'll just say, oh, damn, we forgot our cookies. <laughs> so, so Brenton walks in there and grabs a couple of cookies from a little kid. <laughs> right, right, right in front of the little kid. Right in front of the little kid. <laughs> and, and, and he didn't say a word. And I was like, oh, we forgot our cookies. And that young girl, she couldn't have been any more than probably 18, 19 she looked at. She didn't know what to even say. She knew we were bullshitting, but but she she wasn't about to say anything because she didn't know what to say. She just couldn't believe it happened that we walked in and grabbed a cup of cookies. She knew we weren't on that cruise. Exactly. It was pretty funny. <laughs> That's right, it is a pocket beagle. <laughs> 